Hey there. This is actually the second part of a two-part video that I did. Um, the first one didn't speak in that one. I just uh, glittered the cup. So you'll see the, the part A on that, um, on that video is just the two different colors of glitter and I glittered the cup initially. And then this is actually uh, my attempt, my first attempt at using the tacket method. And I, I wasn't sure of it. I actually did that off camera. I'm kind of glad I did. It took a little bit of a learning curve for me to understand how um, much I needed to rub the stuff to make it come off and make it have that hollow um, rainbow effect, but I got it. So uh, what I'll probably do now is go back and do another video very, very similar to this, if not exactly the same, and make a video of it, a, a tutorial video. But for now, it was too cool not to videotape me putting the epoxy on it. Um, so basically what I did in a nutshell is I glittered the cup initially and then I cleared it, uh, obviously sanded it to make it smooth and then waited for it to dry. And then the next thing I did was I taped the cup off. I put the uh, vinyl pieces on that were the mask for the different tentacles all the way around the cup. I spray painted the cup a pink color so it would have a, a pink base and then I went back, waited for that to dry. I went back in and I did the tacket method with a pink, um, kind of a rainbow pink, really super fine glitter. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. I really wasn't sure how it would go going over a glitter or uh, going over a vinyl pieces that is. But it actually did really well. Really crisp lines, no problems at all with that. You just have to make sure that you know where your pieces start and stop so you can pull your vinyl. Uh, all of my pieces actually ended at the top and bottom, so I knew exactly where to pull them. And I was super careful when I pulled them because these sections have little curly cues on it. I didn't want to tear anything. But anyway, this is it. Um, this is after the tacket method, and I've actually um, used a bit of the triple thick spray to seal it on. And I'm ready to put my first coat of epoxy on it. And I just really kind of just want to do a, a super fast video to show that because... I think it's gonna be really pretty. So um, here we go. I'm gonna put my epoxy on and see how that brings out that green. And I really think it's going to, that pink, number one, the pink is gorgeous. I saw it before I, I uh, sealed it and it's already pretty as is. But I think bringing that green back out, that lime green is really gonna be cool. So I thought I'd do a little quickie and show that. And then I will go back. I will go back and make a video of the Tacket Method. Um, I just, I wanted to learn it first before I made a video of it. And I'm glad that I did because I, again, it was a little bit of a learning curve for me. But I didn't, I didn't ruin a cup doing it. I've managed to get all the way through without that. Um, I just needed to know how much I needed to rub that. And I actually thought it was going to be kind of easy rubbing it off. And it wasn't quite as easy as I thought. So now I know, now I know how it goes and how it's supposed to go. I'm just gonna get this clear on here. I'm gonna zoom in on it and that'll be the end of this little quick video for you. And of course, prior to my, uh, my love of octopus, I had to have tentacles on it. I have more than one tentacle cup. I'm a little obsessed, obviously, with that, but I knew that that green was going to look so neat behind this pink, and I, I really love it already. I did make sure that I sealed my glitter in with the triple thick, the Krylon triple thick, so there was no glitter movement onto my green. I want that pink to stay put. No traveling pink glitter. Not really sure what I'm going to do with this cup yet. But I had to give it a try. I've been waiting on Tacket to get here forever. I've had this this cup glittered green for, I don't know, feels like three weeks or so. And I was waiting for Tacket to get here. It was out of stock pretty much everywhere I looked. I finally found a place to get it, but they were back ordered. And so I went ahead and ordered it, but finally I got it and I immediately ran and got this cup and did this.
I will put the name of the glitters that I use in the notes of the video. Because these are pretty cool glitters. Alrighty, let's see what happens when I get some heat on this thing. Get rid of the bubbles. Actually, we'll probably go back in about four hours and do um, one more coat of that so it can completely covers um, any little edges that there might be but it's pretty smooth right now as it is I like I like the contrast I like it a lot so I will maybe just hit a couple more little spots here I don't like to add too much epoxy on the first coat I like the second coat to be the thick coat. It is really, you kind of, it's not a super thin coat, but it's kind of medium. Cause I want to make sure that I don't have any micro bubbles underneath my epoxy. And I found that if I go too heavy on the first coat, I tend to end up with micro bubbles if I'm not careful, if I'm not really watchful. But if I put a thinner coat on the first coat and then the second coat that I do is the little bit thicker one, it always works out. I can control it better that way. I'll come back in at about probably an hour and a half, take the tape off, let it spin for another three or so hours and then I'll come back and do another coat. And then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this cup. Not sure yet. Not sure what I want it to be. All right, that's it for, that's it for now on this one. Uh, I'll zoom in just a bit and then I'll take some good photographs of it whenever it, um, I'll take the tape off when it's a little bit smoother. And I do love it. I love the contrast with the pink and the green. Pink and green has always been one of my favorite color combinations. It kind of reminds me of watermelon, but that pink is definitely like a rainbow pink. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna zoom in and let you see a little bit better on that. I will go back in soon and redo this cup and go and do a tutorial for you now that I've kind of done a dry run on it. Alrighty, I'm going to sign off. If you, uh, you want to see anything, uh, more videos from us, just make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you click the like on the video button. Thank you.